grab the new book id now in the previous lesson you saw how simple it was to add a simple console.lot script now what we are going to do is build on top of that and write a little complex script remember variables i told you that we can set variables earlier via scripting and that's what exactly we are going to do so we are going to go ahead and set a new variable called as id which will contain the unique id which is generated in the response whenever we create a new book let's go ahead and execute that in postman before that if you scroll the academy you will see the collection.variables.set method and the collections.variable.get method now the collections variables dot set method actually sets a new variable with the value which you are providing so our goal is to fetch the value first from the body save it in a variable and then set that variable as a collection level variable if you scroll down a little bit you will actually see the code right here let's copy the code and let's paste it in postman so go to postman go to add book let's close this console and in the post response scripting let's remove the previous script and add this new script now to explain this code it's very simple we are getting the response like we did earlier but we are fetching only id from that and then we are setting a new variable called as id now if the variable id does not exist it will create a new variable but if the variable with the same name exists it will update the value let's save this and let's send this request nothing changed well something changed let's see where click on the name of the collection and go to variables and here you can see a new variable called as id got created nice where can i use this go to get books by id and here we were manually adding the id before remember let's add that as a variable here so we don't have to manually type it again and again save it and once i send this you will see that a new book is already fetched so id can be now used anywhere within postman we can access it by using double curly braces and we can use that so that's the power of scripting and variables together